delicious. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Good morning if you're watching this when it is first uploaded. Um, I'm currently filming this on Saturday morning and yeah, I'm really, really excited to be sat down and actually filming a video. I feel like I haven't filmed a video in such a long time. Um, the last couple of weeks I have only been uploading one video a week instead of two just because I have been so busy at my job and uh, just busy working and like busy with life in general um, so I haven't really had much of a chance to get videos filmed so I'm excited to be sat down filming a makeup video today because I feel like I haven't done that in a really long time. So for today's video I'm going to be doing an everyday May makeup tutorial, bit of a mouthful, um, but basically I'm just going to be doing the makeup look that I've been wearing quite a lot recently and sharing a few products that I love with you guys and just putting a little makeup look together for you guys to watch and possibly follow, get some inspiration from that kind of thing. I'm really cosy in my dressing gown right now, I've got my iced coffee and I am ready to film this video. Um, so I'm just going to jump straight in. So first things first is primer and I've actually been using a new primer recently. This is by the brand P-U-R, I think that's how you pronounce it, or Pur, I'm not really sure. Um, this is their correcting primer and I have been loving this so much. I just feel like it does correct my skin and it makes my skin look really kind of glowy and healthy and I've just been loving it. It keeps my makeup on for a really long time as well. So I just pop that all over my skin. It feels really nice as well to apply. So for foundation recently I've been mixing two different ones. I have got the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser and the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. Now this one on its own is too heavy and this one on its own is too light. So I've been mixing the two onto the back of my hand and then applying it to my skin and honestly the mixture of these two is perfect. It gives such lovely results. Um, it also makes a really good colour for my skin tone, like it matches my skin perfectly. And then to blend that in, as usual, I'm just using my Beauty Blender. So I'm just going to be pushing the foundation into my skin. As you can see, I've got some pretty gross spots right now, so I'm going to try and cover those up. <laughs> Okay, so now foundation's done, I'm going to pop some concealer underneath my eyes. I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, the one that I always use. And I've just been doing my makeup in a slightly different order recently, but I have been loving it. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that underneath my eyes, just like that, just to brighten up the area a little bit. I'm also going to pop some down the bridge of my nose. And then I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender to blend that in. And then I'm going to pop a little bit of powder over that concealer to set that in place. And I'm using the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot powder, which has been a favourite of mine for a very long time. Um, and I'm just using a little Zoeva brush to pop that on. And I'm literally just going to put it underneath my eyes just to set it in place and make sure it doesn't crease throughout the day. And then also a little bit onto my nose, a little bit on my chin and also my forehead because ever since I've had a fringe... My forehead tends to get a lot more oily, which is really grim, um, but it's the truth. Um, I'm now going to bronze up my skin using the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow Palette. I'm using the bronzer side, and I'm just taking that on a big fluffy brush. And then I'm just going to bronze up my skin all over. Just give me some nice colour. I feel like I'm preparing myself for being on holiday because... I've been loving bronzy skin at the moment and I think I'm just doing it because I'm so excited to go on holiday and I just want to look brown already so I've been bronzing up my skin a lot. Uh, if you guys didn't know I'm actually going on holiday on Monday so the day after you're watching this I'm going to Marbella with my sister for my 20th birthday which I am extremely excited about. Um, so yeah we're flying out there on Monday, we're going for five days so I'm going to be vlogging as well so you guys will have that to look forward to when I get home. Now my skin is nice and bronzed, I'm gonna do a little bit of contour, only a tiny little bit using the Kevin O'Quan Sculpting Powder. I'm just gonna take that on a little MAC brush and I'm just popping a tiny little bit just underneath my cheekbones just to give a little bit of definition. And then just blend it out to make it look a little bit more natural. So I'm now going to pop some blusher on. I'm going to be using a NARS blusher. This is a tiny little mini one. Um, I've had this in my drawer for ages and I used it for the first time the other day and I loved it. It is the NARS Deep Throat Blusher. Um, it looks like this, really, really pretty. And I'm just going to take that on a Zoeva brush. 
and just pop that onto the apples of my cheeks. Okay, so once I've put some blusher on, I'm then going to move on to highlighter, which is my favourite part. Um, I'm going to be using my Zoeva Fan brush, which I love. I'm going to pop some MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish on because I love it so much. And I'm just going to pop that onto the tops of my cheekbones. Oh, it just looks so beautiful. Okay, so now to put some eyebrows on my face because currently I don't have any. Um, I'm just going to quickly brush through them and then do the usual. So I'm using my Soap and Glory Brow Archery Pen. And I have been making my eyebrows look slightly more natural recently, which I have been really liking. Um, so I'll show you guys. I use the Soap and Glory Brow Archery. I just use the waxy side, give them a little bit more of an arch and make the tail of my brow slightly longer. Please excuse the fact that the sun keeps going in and out and it's really bugging me. Okay, that will do for my eyebrows, I think. Um, I'm now going to move on to my eyes, which is also a very exciting part of this makeup look. Um, I'm using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Textured Shadow Palette, whatever the name of this is, but it's beautiful and I love it. Um, I'm going to start off by taking the shade Moon Dust, which is, let me try and show you, this shade here, it's just like a shimmery light gold colour and I'm just going to pop that all over my eyelid as sort of like a base colour. And then just using the same brush I'm using the shade Sandalwood which is this gorgeous kind of orangey shade in the corner. Um, it's just a really nice sort of tan colour and I think it definitely works with like the bronzy skin kind of look. And I just pop that on the very outer corner of my eye and then just blend it slightly inwards. And in a minute I will use a clean blending brush to blend everything out, but I'm just doing it roughly to start with. So just popping the colour on the outer corner. And then to darken it up slightly, I'm going to be using the shade Coco, which is this dark brown shade at the bottom here. Such a gorgeous colour. Um, and I'm just going to be popping that again on the outer corner and just through the crease. And then I need to take a smaller brush um, just so I can pop some of this colour underneath. So I'm going to use the shade Sandalwood, which is the orangey colour, just underneath my lower lash line. And I'm going to drag that all the way to the inner corner. And then go in with the shade Coco, the dark brown, and just pop that on the outer edge. And sort of not go any further than about halfway in. And then I'm going to go in with a really beautiful glittery shade. Um, I'm going to use the shade Angelic, which is this top corner shade. And it's basically like a glittery rose gold colour. And I absolutely love it. So I'm going to pop that onto the very centre of my eyelid. And kind of drag it towards the inner corner as well. And I really hope you can see this on camera. But it is just the most beautiful eyeshadow. It's the prettiest rose gold eyeshadow I've ever seen in my life. Um, in some lights it looks super gold and in other lights it does look slightly pinky which is what I love about it but I'm just going to pack that on so that it really does shimmer in the light I'm then going to curl my eyelashes which is one thing I really hate doing at the moment every time I do it it seems to really hurt so I've got like a little bit of a phobia going on Okay, then for mascara, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara for my top eyelashes, and I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on. And then for my bottom eyelashes, I'm using Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, just because it works so much better on shorter lashes. So that's my eye makeup now complete. The next step is lips and I've been doing something very kind of nude and quite subtle um, but very sort of spring-like and um, the first step to completing the look I've been doing is using the MAC Subculture Lip Liner. So I've just really roughly outlined my lips with the MAC Subculture Lip Liner and then I'm going to go in with MAC's Really Me lipstick and just pop that all over and then afterwards I'll go back in with the lip liner and tidy it all up. 
And then the final step to complete this look is a setting spray and recently um, Urban Decay sent me one of their new long lasting makeup setting sprays so it's the all nighter setting spray that they've had out for a very long time but I think they've just kind of redone the packaging um, and relaunched the product and a few other products in the same sort of range so thank you so much Urban Decay for sending me this one and I thought I would use it in today's video just to show you guys sort of how you use it that kind of thing. I love the new packaging I think it definitely suits the product um, and yeah you basically just give it a little shake and then take the lid off and spritz it all over your skin just to help your makeup set and it kind of uh, changes the temperature of your makeup and keeps it at a good temperature so it doesn't melt if that makes sense um, I'm really bad at describing things but I'll leave a link down below if you want to go check it out this video is not sponsored by them although I wish it was so I'm just gonna spray this onto my face and let it work its magic So that was my finished makeup look for May. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you found it interesting in some way or helpful. Um, yeah, I really hope that you like this look. It's just something I've been wearing a lot recently and I feel like it's very appropriate for this time of year and I just think the skin looks so gorgeous and glowy and bronzed um, and I just think that the eye makeup and the lips work really, really well with the skin. So I really hope that you think the same. Um, yeah, I hope you're all doing well and I hope you liked the video. Please do remember to give it a big thumbs up if you did and get ready for a very fun Marbella vlog coming your way very soon. Um, I'm going to try and get a few videos filmed today so that there's a couple to go up whilst I'm on holiday. But if not, then um, you guys will be seeing my Marbella vlog very, very soon when I get home. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon in another video. Goodbye!